good uh, afternoon, good evening, good morning, wherever you're joining us from, because there's some people online. Um, welcome to the Center for Global Development. My name is Jude Moore. I am a senior policy fellow here. Um, today, one of the things that we do at the Center for Global Development, besides research, is provide a convening for policymakers to talk to us about the actions they're taking, the policies they're implementing, are improving lives and livelihoods around the world. Today, we're pleased, very, very pleased to have the Honorable Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Federal Republic of Nigeria here with us today. It is such a pleasure to have you, Mr. Minister. Welcome to the Center for Global Development. Thank you for having me. Uh, today, I wanted to begin our conversation. I'm, I'm Liberian, and I, I, for, for us in Liberia, you know, I always say that uh, the peace we enjoy today came at great cost in blood and, and, and gold, and that blood and gold was Nigeria. Nigeria has been this regional hegemon. So the new Nigerian, any Nigerian administration is not just governing for a domestic audience, it's also governing for a regional audience and a global audience. So I thought it would be a good place to start to tell us a little bit about Nigeria's foreign policy under you and the, the Tinubu administration. What is Nigeria's foreign policy? What can its West African neighbors and the rest of Africa look forward to as foreign policy when it comes to Nigeria? Well, thank you. Thank you for having me. Um, President Bola Ahmed Tinubu's administration has a foreign policy agenda focusing on the four Ds. Okay democracy, development, demography, and diaspora. With um, democracy, Nigeria, of course, is one huge marketplace. Hmm. It was created out of the confluence of two great African uh, rivers, the Niger and the Benue. And I'm sure, as you know, Nigeria has, um, every day in Nigeria is a market day because there's always a village, a city, a town that has a market day and uh, people are used to moving from one city or one village to another, uh, trading their wares and um, interacting with each other, exchanging ideas, exchanging uh, goods and services. And this applies to the uh, larger region, to, mm. to West Africa as a whole. So we feel that for this to um, continue to exist, you need democracy. And that is why that first D uh, is democracy. Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll talk uh, about that uh, a bit further. Mm. I want to cover all the, uh, the, the Ds. Ds. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so development is the next D, and we're looking to grow our economy through agriculture, through uh, expanding our man manufacturing uh, base and through infrastructure. And we want to uh, attain double digit uh, growth and keep it that way because mm. our population is growing at 3% and of course so is the region. The region registers some of the highest uh, birth rates in the world, which mm. is why Nigeria is going to be 400 million by the year 2050 and uh, even our neighbor, Niger, for, for many years, I don't know if that's still the case, uh, had the highest birth rate in the world. It uh, was last year. Exactly. <laughs> so there, there you go. And then, uh, of course, that also moves on to uh, demography, mm. uh, that um, population explosion, uh, and the fact that we feel we need to uh, peak at the right time. And um, when I say peak, I'm talking about dependency ratio, at the moment, you have 70% um, of Nigerians uh, being under the age of 43. So it's a nation of uh, Gen Zs and And, and millennials and, and what have you. So, um, and of course, this also impacts on uh, the rest of the region and Africa as a whole. Mm. Uh, we want to uh, leverage on that demography, uh, make it uh, productive, negotiate with other partners uh, to ensure that uh, wherever Nigerians go, wherever Africans go, 
they go with dignity, they go with pride, it's well negotiated, they can, uh, we, we're, we're looking to share with the rest of the world mm. uh, that human resource, but with dignity. And then we have, of course, dias diaspora, which is linked to the um, demography. We have Nigerians all over the world, mm. uh, living, working, um, most of them excel in what they do, wherever they live. We want to maintain that relationship. We want to uh, use their presence in those countries to project a positive image of mm. uh, Nigeria. Mm. And um, also, um, we have to bear in mind that uh, we receive remittances from those diasporans, which is a key component of our economy. So in a nutshell, these are the four Ds, and that's the approach we have.